So in last week's video, I showed you guys how to film and edit cinematic mode on your iPhone 13. But today I'm going to show you guys how to edit cinematic mode videos in Final Cut Pro. So let's jump right into it. All right, so first we're going to open Final Cut. Just kidding. I need a drink first. Okay, now we're going to open Final Cut. All right, so here we are in Final Cut Pro. We're just gonna drag in this clip that we have of me looking stupid, but I don't care because I did it for y'all, so. It's all for you guys. All right, so we're just gonna drag in our footage over here. And it says adding a short clip to SDR project. Bright content will be clipped, all this weird stuff, and you see it turns bright behind. So we can just hit, don't show again, or just leave it on and hit okay. What we're going to do, we're going to go over here to effects and it even tells us to go to HDR tools and you just drag and drop. And what I figured out is that you just go over to this little video section and you just change this to HLG to Rec 709 SDR and it balances it all out. But you can see that it no longer looks like it's in cinematic mode. I shot this in cinematic mode. This is me just basically looking stupid on camera. Yeah, so how we're gonna fix this is first, we need to slap some color grading on this thing. So we can just go over here to exposure and then we're going to lift this and drop this down so it gives it some contrast. That started to look a lot better and we can just slide up the saturation a bit. There we go. That's looking good. All right, so now, when we have this selected, we can go over here and you see we have this new drop down that's not normally there. And this is for cinematic mode. So if you click that, it brings up its own window. You're going to have to go over here to the video section. I'm, I'm new to Final Cut, I'm not sure what that's called. The video inspector. So we're gonna go over here to the video inspector and if you go down to cinematic mode, you have to check that and then it turns cinematic mode on. So if you're like, why isn't it in cinematic mode when you import it and stuff like that, you have to do this step to basically turn it on. I don't know why it's not on by default because you're importing cinematic footage, but I don't know, maybe you just can't tell the difference right off the bat. And then if you hit the drop down menu, you can adjust the depth of field. So it's all the way down, you can see, but you could like, you know, make it not less blurry. Well, I really like that. I mean, it looks really good. So now if we play our clip, um, you can see that it plays it in cinematic footage style and yep, everything looks great. So I had it focus over here and it focused right about right there and then it comes back to my face. So you can also turn off, I think that just hides like the view of seeing it, which is nice to see what it's focusing on because you can change it. So now what we can do is if we scrub through here, we can just start to change the points. And what we can do is right click and go over here to cinematic editor. And now you can see these little points. You can delete it. Not, I don't think you can move it around. Yeah, you can't move it around, but at least you can see it. So this is where I focus on the plant. And then this dot over here is where it focused back to me. I think the white dot is it focusing automatically and I think the yellow one is if you manually touch the screen while you're doing cinematic mode. Not exactly sure, but they're kind of like keyframe points. So we can go through here and we can go ahead and adjust it if we want to the plant. And click on different spots. Let's do that tree. And you can see it created a dot down here. And that means that we basically changed it and it's going to shift the focus to the plant. So you see we're smiling, yay. And then it shifts to the plant. And then we can come back to my face by selecting this box. It's already found my face, so we can just click on that and it will shift the focus back. So it's really super simple and easy to use. And we can just scrub through and it looks really nice. And now we have a great piece of footage to work with. 
cinematic mode is great for um, vloggers and stuff because the iPhone is pretty light to hold. The 13 is a little weightier than the other ones or a little heavier, um, but still great than like a DSLR. You just, you know, hold it up and can point it at you. You get great looking video straight out of the gate. I mean, basically when you're, you know, done recording, you have the video right there. So what I found out is that I airdropped it to myself from my phone to my computer and that did not have any cinematic data, I guess you could say, in it. So what I had to do is I just went to the Photos uh, app on my computer because they're synced through iCloud and I just dragged it from there into Final Cut Pro and that seemed to work. So I don't know why that's different, but yeah, it's different. So that's basically it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, then please like and subscribe down below and comment below if you like Final Cut Pro tutorials and I will make some more for you guys. Thanks again and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.